Over the last few years, I've interviewed over 70 of the biggest casting directors, agents, actors, writers, directors and producers in TV. I asked them all what's the one thing every actor should know. Here's what they said. Just don't expect it to be easy because it's, it's really not. Just be prepared for the tough times as well. Be a bit more confident, like be a bit more, a little bit more confident to say like to a director, you know, oh, how, how about I try it like this? Don't overthink that thing that you've done in the room or that you've said or the whatever it is, just kind of once you've left the room, park it yep. and just walk away and just forget about it. As soon as you've done an audition, forget you've done it. That I had to learn to do early on. Don't fear us or the process and and always leave in the room. I know you can't do it in the room with the self-tapes, but always leave the audition there. Move on. Don't kind of fester over it and think about it. A few things. Firstly, you do you. It's a long game. And if you bring in the room, it's because we think you're good. Every audition you go to, we want you to get the job. We want you in that moment to be the one that gets this. The people on the panel want you to be good. We really want you to be good. The no one is against you. Don't come into the room thinking, oh God, don't worry about it. We all want you to be good. Prepare more um, to worry less and to know that the casting director wants you to be good. And we are just here to help. The only people that are not going to make it to where they want to make it to wherever that may be is because they're not persistent. And yes, there may be loads of reasons why you can't stick to it, right? But if you can stick to it, there is a payoff. If I was to give any kind of advice to any, any young actor, or not even young actor, any, just any actor, is do your work. Because you need to do the work in order to make it look like you don't do the work. Nothing beats good work ethic. Do your homework, do the hard graft, do your, do the stuff you need to do before you even get on the gig. Be better tomorrow than you were today, even if you were brilliant today. Make it about the work and not about the success. You can have it all. You can. The only thing to stop you is you. Nothing can stop you. You see a fucking obstacle, kick through it, climb it, smash it up, fucking burn it, get through it. The only way out is through. You can have it all. Be happy. You'll work more. Don't stress. You know, it's like it's it's you're going to enjoy the ride so much more if you're relaxed. Listen more to the daring side than the devil on your shoulder saying, "Don't do it." Always remember why you decided that you wanted to be in this industry, and I don't think we're told enough to remember why. So every day when you wake up, just remember what it feels like when it feels good. Because I think you'll agree that when it's not going so well, it's really shit and it hurts. But my God, when when this industry, when, when your work is going well, when you get that call that says they want you, there is not a feeling on this earth that compares to it. No part is worth robbing yourself of years worth of happiness now. The industry is the way that it is and you are what you are. How can you make it? So that this industry, whether it's what, whether it's what you wanted it to be or not, is something that you can take joy from in some form. And if you can't get joy from it, take a break. Be kind to yourself. Look after your mental health more than anything. That's vital. Enjoy life. There is more to it than this fucking industry. When it's not fun, change it. Just take good care of yourself. You're a human being, so take good care of yourself. Make sure you're happy. Make sure you're you're together and well and at peace. It absolutely makes no difference to you whatsoever if someone else is doing well or badly or whatever. It makes absolutely no difference. So you can take joy in someone else doing something good. Don't watch anyone else's journey. You know, your journey is your own. And the sooner you can let go and celebrate other people's success, yep. the sooner you're going to be able to achieve your success. People put on social media the character that they want you to think mm -hmm. they are. And that involves all the success and all the joy and all the happiness. And that can have a massive effect on the people reading it. But just remember that that's, that's not always the truth. Don't be shy, be curious, and just ask questions of people. 
They love it more than you'd ever imagined. You need the people around you you can just ask the right questions and just get on with being an actor and a good one at that. How privileged we are to be in a world and a society that entertains and makes people think and makes people happy and makes people smile and makes people sad and makes people cry. How wonderful, what a privilege it is to be part of that. And I think it's really important that we never lose sight of that, no matter how shit it is, how much shit the world is and how shit we feel our contribution to the industry is. Kind of look after each other a bit, really. Support your mates, look, af look after each other and support and collaboration is, is, is what this is all about. We're all in the same boat, casting directors, Producers, directors, makeup artists, everything. We're all just trying to make it work. Everybody is the same and everybody worries about whether they're making the right decisions from the top to the bottom of the industry. We're all thinking the same thing. Yeah. We're all wondering if the other person thinks we shouldn't be there. You know, the best thing to think is just, we're just human. Casting directors are nervous. Directors are nervous, producers are nervous. We're all fucking bags of nerves. <laughs> but what we all have to do is learn to manage them. We're all learning. Sometimes you learn from getting things wrong. Being kind isn't a weakness. If kindness is at the core of what you're doing, then you, you'll never go wrong, will you? It's just about being a nice person and showing up and like, being good and not not misbehaving and, and uh, just being nice to have around. No one's better than anybody else. So when you, you know, if you're lucky enough and you get any sort of theatre, telly job, um, to treat everybody that you meet the exact same. Believe in yourself. That's what I want to get give you guys in the act in the industry. That's one thing. Believe in yourself. Just bloody believe in yourself because there's no reason why you shouldn't. Just go out there, believe in yourself. Be confident, trust your judgment, and one day it will happen and it's going to happen. Just know who you are, because this industry will try and change you. It will try and say, you're not good enough. You know what you can do and what you bring to the table. So just, just in the words of Mufasa from The Lion King, remember who you are. <laughs> you're fine. You don't have to change yourself. You, but being yourself is one of the hardest the most rewarding things that you'll ever get to do. Your face is perfect for somebody. You know, you are, every individual, and it's important that that's, you mustn't try to be anybody else. Have confidence in your own ability. It's a precarious, scary profession at times. It's overpopulated, but there is space for you. There's a room for you to show the gift that you've got. And it's about holding on to your own talent and persevere and keep uh, moving forward and things things will happen. Have the confidence in yourself and be proud of your work and who you are as an actor. And don't kind of feel you have to fit the mold of someone else or something else or anything like that. You know, yeah. this is your career. Be selfish in a kind and polite way. Um, but, you know, it, you got to work for yourself. Do your best and try and be as realistic as possible about what your best is. Know that your best is probably not Liam Hemsworth's best right now. You haven't had that number of auditions. Your best isn't Idris Elba. You haven't had A, B and C. Your best is your best. Try and do that. And outside of that, and once you've done your audition with that best, just leave it behind as much as you can. Don't worry too much about everybody else is doing. Just, you know, practice your craft, get your stuff together, get your get your ducks in a row, as you'd say, and just concentrate on what you want to do and where you want to be. Believe in yourself, believe in what you do, um, and be just really kind of empowered by that. And try not to worry about what other people think, because they'll always have their own opinions. If you're going in the room for a job, you've got just as much chance of getting that job as any other person there. You're in that room because somebody thinks that you can do it. Don't let other people measure your worth. It's not up to anyone else. Um, they don't get to decide whether you're good enough, whether you should have something, you decide. You are the only version of you. You know, there might be 10 people who can play a part, but you are the, the there's only one of you and, um, Based on that, you have to go, that's, I mean, that's a gift. Be yourself. I don't mean as an actor, when you're acting, but when you go and meet people, 
present yourself. So many people, I've mentioned this before, tape, come in, even write an email, already saying, I am not good enough, I am not worthy. Yes, you are. That's why you're here. But every audition is a chance for you to practice your craft. So embrace it and enjoy it. Do what you love. Don't do things just for the sake of it. Do things because you love it. Your mind is the strongest thing that you have as a tool, whether that be an actor or not an actor. Um, and if you use that tool um, to your advantage, then you can put yourself in any, any situation and compete with the best. Ross Grant has the best arms. <laughs>